Welcome back to Gardening Artfully. Kathy over here. I am in Zone 5B in Ontario, Canada. And just thought I'd show you my May garden. Uh, we're getting fairly cool weather, so everything is kind of late. Uh, here's the magnolia. I believe this is black swan, but I, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. So I've seen different pictures of it, and some of them show this shape, but other times it's more cupped. So I'm not sure. If any of you know, uh, just leave a comment down below. So everything's looking pretty good. I just did this bed. Uh, I widened it quite a bit and just put cardboard down on the grass, edged it, and then uh, put mulch on top. So next spring I can uh, plant in the front part of this because the cardboard will be degraded and all the grass will be killed off. Great way of of expanding your garden beds or making a new garden bed. These, this is how I did all my garden beds when I first came here. These gardens are only uh, five years old now. So it's a beautiful day. Just thought I'd show you how things are progressing. All my tulips and muscari came up beautifully. Uh, I haven't got my waterfall going yet, but uh, moss is just crazy. I'm gonna have to take it up. It's grown over top of my stepping stones. <laughs> that beautiful clump of iris will be out very soon. It's a very, very dark, dark burgundy almost black it's so dark and my uh, hydrangea vine is finally growing up the wall they seem to take their time in getting used to a spot prickly pear is doing good although it does have some grass in there so that's gonna be fun getting that out <laughs> I don't know if any of you have ever grown it but very fine little hairs on it that stick into your skin and they're very fine so fine you almost need a magnifying glass to get them out to see them um, muscari is beautiful I love it now we did have a cold spring so they may be blooming later And I did put my statue up there. These are the, some of the tulips. Uh, I will put the name up above for you. Beautiful tulips. I love them. These are the yellow, the others. And that is a clematis called Henry I. It's going to be gorgeous this year. And my rose bush is doing great. Let's take you along here. Um, Camassia right there, full of buds. And these. Um, I believe that is uh, Ambassador Valiums. They are so big, they, they kind of take over a huge spot and they multiply. But you're supposed to um, separate them every three to four years. So I'll be doing that in the fall. Probably give away a bunch of bulbs. Um, 
lilacs are just about ready to bloom. Some more tulips, candy tuff, and phlox. This is really doing well. That's the straight lace elderberry. And my um, dawn rose. Can't think of the name of it. New dawn, I think it is. It's coming up really good. Now I did have a uh, Venus dogwood that didn't make it but it's coming up from the bottom so I transplanted it back here and I'm gonna let it grow as a shrub and it seems to be growing well there but not here so yeah now all my hostas are up fairly big and we are going to have a bad frost on Wednesday night. So I'm going to have to figure out how to cover these because they will be killed. These were really awesome uh, daffodils. Uh, I've had them for three years and I'm finally going to get a flower on my viburnum this one's the one that smells nice <laughs> so it's going to be huge take you over here my little Charlie Brown Christmas tree is doing well and I love the little new pine cones are bright pink fuchsia pink I think that looks cool take you over here I moved a peony put it there see if it's gonna do better still have to find homes for those. Dogwood's doing well. I really have to work on this area this year. I want to get this cleaned up, put some uh, mulch or something in the pathways. Now look at this casmia. It is loaded. All my delphiniums, the seedlings, all did well as transplanted. This magnolia sun sprite, it's called. I don't know. I think it might be killed off, all the flowers. They're just starting to come out, so Wednesday's frost will probably end that. But not much you can do about it. Uh, that there is a coral dawn peony. It's doing really well. And my fox tail lilies there. They're doing well. Those that there um, is my peony. I split and transplanted from the side of the stairway on my deck that was bright red and it's full of buds so it didn't mind being transplanted and then my beautiful red bud full of blooms it's beautiful i love these trees i think it's <laughs> so neat how they stick to the branch And 
this looks really good. It's got lots of new sprouts. It's my clematis, the deep purple that I transplanted uh, last year, last spring. And it's growing like crazy. Everything's looking really great. I hope these um, tulips come back like they say they will. They're supposed to be um, a perennialized one. Um, we'll see. I haven't had much luck and that's why I haven't really put many in. see I hope so because they are so gorgeous I love them my tree peony full of buds look at those buds casmia behind it it's a pink one and all kinds of uh, Poppies. It's uh, itopenies. Everything came up really well. I was a little worried because we had such a terrible dry uh, end of the summer and into the fall. And these are a little supposed to be a perennialized tulip too. I love them. They're a little bit tipped with pink. And I like their leaves. I think that's so cool. That's a green arrow cypress, and it's starting to take off now, so it took a while. I had one at my old place, and it was so gorgeous. I did some watering last night, and we did have some... It's been a dry spring, actually. Um, I did move these. They're looking a little bit yellow. But I think they're going to be okay. The one over there. So they're starting to green up on the ends now. So I'm hoping they uh, survive. But I got to do this, all these beds mulched. That's my um, red lark delphinium. So it came back okay. put in this stand here, I don't know if you can see it, this here, I did put a clematis called, oh gosh, I'll have to look it up again, pink something, so it's supposed to only grow six feet, so it's a good one for an obelisk, and look at this tree peony, it's just huge. And look at the buds. Look at the size of that bud. And it's covered in them. So that's going to be a real show. And that there is the uh, catch fly. I really like it. it. Doesn't seed. I think it's a sterile form. Some more of those tulips. I think I'm going to move those though. They're kind of hidden behind the peony and delphiniums. And everything's growing well. Nice bunch there. Yeah, it's a nice rhubarb patch over there. And these uh, lilacs are almost out. Beautiful color. They smell fantastic. And some more of those little tulips. And my fringe tree looks really healthy this year. It was kind of struggling last year. Now I do have to do something with these. This is a 
a U. It's the variegated one. And I hope it doesn't kill the new growth off with this frost coming. Because it did last year. But it did come back. But it kind of grew funny. <laughs> so I don't know whether to make it into... Um, a topiary type thing or what so there's my weeping blue spruce it's got to be restaked and my um, tough stuff aha hydrangea it's coming back it's just a new one, so I do like mulch on a bed. And that's my uh, David Austin, um, I think it's Ancient Mariner. It's really doing well. I did buy another one, uh, Abraham Darby, and I'll, I'll probably show how I plant them. So, I just thought I would give you a little look at what my garden is like this time of year. So I hope you can get out in your garden and just even sit and, and enjoy and watch the birds. It's so relaxing just being with nature. So have a fantastic day everybody and we'll see you next week.